Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is finally out and we'll talk about his kit, his playstyle, and everything you need to know about Ito. Ito's playstyle relies heavily on how many stacks of super relative super strength he can stack up before casting his charge attack. What this stack does is basically transforming his charge attack called the Arataki Kazagiri that casts consecutive slashes that has a huge damage multiplier. There are several ways to add super relative super strength stack. The first is by doing normal attacks. His normal attack adds 1 stack of superlative super strength on the second hit and 2 stacks on the fourth hit. The number of stacks that you have will be indicated by the number of glowing yellow lights behind his back and he has the maximum of 5 stacks. Using charge attack when you have the stacks will trigger the Arataki Kazagiri and on the final stack Ito will deal a powerful attack that has a multiplier of 306% at level 8. Even if you only have 1 stack Ito will still cast this powerful charge attack since it triggers when you have one stack left. The second way to add super relative super strength stack is by casting his elemental skill. When you summon the one and only bull and it hits the opponent, it gives it a one stack of super relative super strength. The bull also acts as a decoy, taunting all the enemies around it to attack it, and once they do, it will gain one stack of super relative super strength with a cooldown of 2 seconds. Also, when the bull dies, it gives it a one stack of super relative super strength. But since this bull has a duration of 6 seconds, and he has a cooldown of 2 seconds when he was hit, the maximum number of superlative sword strength that can be gained this way is 4. The last way is by casting Ito's Heaven of Burst, in which it will make his attack combo to also generate 1 stack of superlative sword strength on his first and third hit. Since his elemental burst converts his defense to attack, you might want to focus on leveling up his elemental burst first, then his normal attack, then lastly his elemental skill. Even though his elemental skill has a huge damage multiplier, but the main use of his elemental skill is to gain super relative super strength stack, which you can also get even with the level 1 elemental skill. There are various ways to play Ito, but the most optimal way to get the maximum damage output is by doing elemental skill, 4NA, elemental burst, and then 5CA. Basically, you want to make sure that you have the max stacks of super relative super strength before casting your charge attack. The reason is because if you're using 4 piece the House of Opulent Dreams artifact set, the curiosity stack will only build up if your active character are doing geo damage to the enemy. So casting the the burst and then doing 4 charge attack will max his curiosity stack. Then on the final charge attack combo, you will get the max buff from the House of Opulent Dreams. But do keep in mind that his elemental burst snapshots, which means that the attack buff that you get from his elemental burst scales off his defense the moment you cast his elemental burst, not the defense after the buff from the curiosity stacks. But since his elemental burst only converts the attack type to geo damage, the geo damage buff that you get from the curiosity stacks after casting his elemental burst still counts, which means that his attack will gradually get stronger as the stacks build up. But you may have a different playstyle depending on your artifact set that you are using. But before we discuss his artifact set, we'll talk about his constellations first and see if it's worth it for you to pull for an extra copy of Ito. His constellation 1 basically just enables him to do a full 5 charge attack as soon as he casts his elemental burst. 2 initial stacks in the beginning and 1 more stack every 0.5 seconds for the next 1.5 seconds, totaling to 5 stacks. For me, I don't think his constellation 1 is that game changing. His constellation 2 just kinda resolves his energy issue, making his elemental cooldown to be faster and provides the energy that he lacks, but this can only work in a mono geo team since the number of energy generated and cooldown reduced depends on the number of geo characters in your party. His C3 and C5 is just straight up level up. His constellation 4 makes him into a DPS slash support for his teammates, giving the defense bonus and attack bonus to all party members. This constellation is also not that worth it. At C6, here's where Ito starts to become a really broken character. His C6 gives his charge attack a massive 70% crit damage buff, and also gives him a 50% chance of not consuming the superlative super strength stack when he casts Arataki Kazgiri, making him able to cast his charge attack combo for more than 5 times. This is one crazy constellation, and this just skyrocketed his DPS numbers. If you are free to play player, I suggest you stop at C0, because his constellations are not that good except for C6, but if you are whale, then go for C6, as his C6 is really broken, and I've seen some people doing more than 100k damage each hit. Now we'll talk about his artifacts. The 4-piece sauce of Opulent Dreams is undoubtedly the best artifact set for Ito. Its 2-piece effect gives you a 30% defense bonus, and its 4-piece gives you another 24% defense bonus and 24% geo damage bonus. But if you're playing it on the field all the time, keeping up the stack might be a hard thing to do, 
Since his only source of geo damage is his elemental skill that has a 10 seconds cooldown, and if you are not gaining any stacks when you are on the field, you will lose the stack by 1 every 6 seconds. And his elemental burst, which costs 70 energy, we know that Ito has an energy problem. His elemental skill only generates 3 to 4 particles of energy, so you really need energy recharge stats or a battery in your team to make sure that Ito can maximize his burst uptime. The next artifact set that we can use is 2-piece Archaic Petra and 2-piece House of Opium Dreams, but this still falls behind House of Opium Dreams by far since we know that the geo damage buff from the artifact is not snapshotting. So by doing this, you are basically sacrificing the 9% geo damage bonus at max stacks. Some people might want to use 4-piece Gladiator, but I don't really recommend this because Ito has one of the lowest base attack from all 5-star Claymore users, so adding 18% attack bonus is not going to boost your attack by a lot. And even though the 4-piece effect gives you a 35% normal attack damage bonus, the damage will still be lower than 4-piece Husk because of the massive 54% defense bonus and the 24% geo damage bonus that Husk of Opulent Dreams artifact gives. Now we will talk about the main sets of the artifacts. For Sans, I recommend you to use Defense% percent instead of Attack% percent because of how low Ito's base attack are. Using a Defense% percent Sans will benefit you way more, since his skill scales off Defense and also his passive talents increases his Artaki Kazaguri by 35% of Defense. For the Goblet, you might want to use Geo Damage Bonus, as his Elemental Burst infuses his attack with Geo Damage. And for the Circlet, you might want to look for Crit Rate or Crit Damage, so that you get the 1 to 2 Crit Rate Crit Damage ratio. For the substats, you might want to look for crit rate or crit damage, defense percent, and lastly, energy recharge. But what is the optimal energy recharge? For energy recharge, I recommend around 130% to 150% of energy recharge, since you don't want to sacrifice too much of your substat rolls into energy recharge just to get this ultimate burst up. Sacrificing crit rate or crit damage rolls for your energy recharge is not worth it, since you can just put a battery character that uses Fafonius Weapon series or uses the 4-piece DXR artifacts in your team and still get his ultimate burst up. For weapons, the best one by far is the new 5-star Claymore, the Red Hornstone Treasure, as it gives a massive 88.2% crit damage, 20% defense bonus, and increased normal attack and charge attack damage by 40% of defense. This weapon is made for Ito, and no other 5-star Claymore is better than this new 5-star Claymore. Wolf's Griftstone gives attack buff on Ito, which is really bad since Ito doesn't scale on attack at all. Skyward Pride is not that bad since it provides 36.8% of energy recharge at max level, giving Ito the ER that he needs to maintain his burst uptime. But the vacuum created deals damage based on attack, so it might not deal that much damage. The Unforged is on par with Wolf Gravestone. You might get to 2k plus something attack on Ito, but when you use your ultimate burst, the attack buff you get will be significantly lower since you invest in attack instead of defense. Song of the Broken Pines is also bad on Ito. It provides around the same attack as Wolf's Gravestone, but the physical attack bonus on him is kinda useless. For 4 star Claymores, White Plains is a great free to play option for Ito. It provides a total of 75.7% of defense bonus at max stacks on R1 and 99.7% defense bonus on R5. It also gives Ito an attack buff by 48% at max stacks on R5. The only downside is that you need to find a good critical artifact piece to get at 1 to 2 crit rate crit damage ratio. But since Ito's Ascension gives critical rate bonus, it'll be easier for you to get that critical rate to reach at least 50%. Serpent Spine is also a good option too, but it's kinda tricky to get the buffs, since the stack from Serpent Spine only increases when the character is on the field, while we know that by using House of Open Dreams, to maximize the curiosity stack on Ito at all times, he needs to be off the field. So you have to like wait 20 seconds for Serpent Spine to reach max stacks, and switch Ito off the field, and wait another 12 seconds to get the max stacks from the Husk artifact set. But the crit rate buffs from Serpent Spine is also really good. This makes your only concern for Ito is to find a good crit damage artifacts. Black Cliff Slasher is good too since it gives 55.1% crit damage on max level, but the downside for this weapon is that you need to defeat 3 opponents to get max stacks, giving you 36% attack bonus on R1. This may be good when you're exploring the overworld, but fighting bosses or abyss that only have 1-2 to two enemies, this weapon's passive is basically useless. Now we'll talk about Ito's team comp. To maximize Ito's potential, you need to put him in a mono geo team comp. Goro gives Ito the buffs he needs such as defense and geo damage bonus, and at C6 he also gives 40% critical damage bonus when using his elemental burst. But to maximize Goro's buff for the geo damage bonus, you need at least 3 geo characters in the same party. 
so it kind of locks you with three geo characters. For the third geo character, you can use either Albedo to give you extra DPS from his bloom, or you can use Zhongli for the elemental shred that he gives, boosting Ito's damage even further. But I will prefer Albedo over Zhongli, just because even though Zhongli gives a geo shred, you won't be able to use Ito's burst, which deals geo damage all the time. So instead of shred, using Albedo's bloom that deals around 20k to 30k damage every 2 seconds is a way better option. Using Geo Traveler, Ningguang, or even Noel is not that good of an option. But if you need an extra energy, Geo Traveler's fourth constellation can generate 5 energy for every enemy hit by the elemental burst. For the fourth slot, you can either go Mono Geo using both Albedo and Zhongli, or you can put a battery character in the fourth slot such as Dionai, Fischl, or Raiden to generate those extra energies. If you build Goro as a battery by using 4 piece DX artifacts and Fofonius Warbow, you can use the 4th slot as another damage booster such as Bennett or Sarah. You can also use characters such as Lisa to shred the defense of your opponents. Equipping her with the Thrilling Tales of the Dragon Slayer can also boost Ito's attack. But you don't need to worry. Even without a Mono Geo team, Ito can still perform really well. All you have to remember is that Ito requires at least one battery character in the team to maintain his burst uptime. That's it for Ito's guide. I know that there might be something that I'm missing or didn't cover. But if you have any questions or any suggestions, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll try to answer any of the questions that you have to the best of my ability. Also, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.